In the last episode, I just showed you how to download the game and get on a server. In this episode, we will go to the HANS server, hopefully a nice server, um, and log in. I told you about the address and port, or you can just click join game and look for the server on the list. And then, uh, and then log in. Now, in this server, as in many servers, they have a button to make it daytime. So see it says 1225? Left click on your mouse to hit the button. Wait, is it left click or right click? Right click? Oh, right click did it. Uh, see, it says 6 a.m. now, so I guess you right-click with the mouse. Now, if you look in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, you see it says Spawn, and the ad it says Admin and Doria next to Spawn. That means this land's protected. If I dig, uh, I won't get anything. See, I dig, and it goes right back. So you need to get out of this area to be able to dig. So I'll just start heading in a direction until what's in the lower left of the screen no longer has any, and I see bananas here, so uh, that's food. You notice um, the breads are, all right, now I'm out of that area, the protected area, because you look in the lower left, it has areas colon. I'm using the W key to move forward. It's the W-A-S-D keys to move around. And I'm just going to head for those trees, the banana trees. Now, as a general rule, it's good to replant whatever you chop down. So I will do shift and then left click to chop and then let go. Whoa, I'm getting attacked by a mouse. So I'm going to run away um, uh, by a rat. Actually, try this. Slash spawn, enter. And that will put me in spawn. So I got actually some saplings and a banana. You can eat. left click on the bananas to eat. Use the mouse wheel to move between the things. So you have to be a little careful on the server. Uh, as you might get attacked by something. In fact, if you hit I, you go into your inventory. If you put the banana trunks, left click to pick them up and left click to put them down. Click the center mouse wheel to pick up the wood. Um, left click to place, right click to place them down. And, um, well... I don't know. Let's let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, let's get an axe. So let hit I, throw a piece of wood in there. Take and um, two pieces of wood, two sticks, and then three woods will make your first axe. And then uh, beware of the monsters spawning. See if you can head out of the area. The axe will cut quicker. All this area is protected here. Ah, this is not protected. So shift and then left click to chop. And you see wood cutting active. Um, so it will chop the trees. And that, okay, so now I got the whole tree. I'm gonna plant one of the saplings, actually two of them since I chopped two trees. So if you're going to chop trees, it's good to replace them. And let's chop another one here. Shift and left click. 
and it will auto chop. And uh, let's place a replacement sapling. Hit I and you see the green, um, the red set home. Left click that so we can get back here quickly and we don't have to walk. Another way to set home is to hit forward slash and then S-E-T-H-O-M-E. And that will set your home as well. And I think they're two different set homes on the server. All right, shift and left click to chop. And I'll place a sapling on the grass here. Oh, by the way, the F. Uh, let's see, F5 key will give more information. And let's see, let's shift chop. You can help that along if you want. Left clicking will chop it for you. All right, now if I do forward slash spawn, I, I could actually put the woods up there. Click the center mouse wheel to grab the, the wood. And now if you type armor in the inventory there, I'll show you how to use recipes. So for example, if I want to make uh, wood boots, so if I click the boots, it says I need two woods here and two woods there on the left and the right. So click the wrench and I'll put two woods here and two woods here. And that gives me boots. Now, if you look, 3D armor and left click that, and you can put the boots up there, and now I have armor level five with that. Um, maybe I want a wood chest plate. Wood is everywhere but the middle square. So if I place the wood, left clicking to pull it out and left clicking to place it left click to pick up left click to place um my armor level goes up to 15. for the hat you notice it's like an upside down u shape so i copy that shape with the banana wood and now i have a helmet click the 3d armor place the helmet what else do I need? I need leggings. Notice it makes a full upside down U. If you, cl uh, so I will do that. And there's the leggings. And let's search shield here. All right, I have to end this in a minute. Notice the shield makes a shield shape with the wood. So I will make a shield shape with the wood. And now I have a complete suit of armor. Um, if I click, I'll just show you, slash spawn puts me back in spawn I can right click to reset the time hit I and click the green house if you want to go back where you were
you can just left click to dig. And I, you'll need a pick to dig here. So use the two sticks and three woods across the top to make your pick. Place it over that and then just dig. And uh, let's go back to spawn for now. And I'll just show you with the cobblestone that I dug up using the pick. Um, let's see, I'll get some sticks. If you put a wood plank up there, you get sticks. Sometimes you get money. If you put a single wood and two cobblestones, you can make a stone sword. The stone sword is better, much better than the wood sword. That's why I made that. Um, and you want to put the sword somewhere where it's easy for you to get to it. I will also make a, uh, I'm going to make a cobblestone. Well, I'll wait. I have to, I have to end this episode. So if you hit ESC and click exit to menu, it will log you out. And the next episode, we will probably find uh, shelter and food.